puppies. I told you I was going to be on here often helping you with your puppies. I hope you're getting a lot out of these lives um, this past week. And today I really wanted to focus on that hyper energy, that hyper energy your puppies get into and at times is so fun, right? You can walk them, you can play with them. It's amazing until it's not. Until it's kind of like, I need some downtime and they're still all the way up here. And you're like, what the heck do I do? And you start feeling overwhelmed and kind of kind of lost, right? And I think like the normal response that we do in those situations is, is unconsciously we actually match that energy. We start yelling at our puppy, um, telling them no or stop. Um, some of us might go to more extremes and say, knock it off. Um, you're being annoying, stop it, right? Um, we want to pay attention to where that energy is, right? I'm sure you guys could feel that energy when I was in that space. And if, if you don't, if you haven't noticed, I'm a highly expressive person and I, I am that way. That's my personality. But I'm that way partly too because I want you guys to literally like have the feeling of what I'm talking about, to really grasp it, right? So that energy felt like, big, right? Um, a lot of uh, um, movement in it. I don't think it was very fluid, right? Or calming. So want to think that's the exact energy that your puppy's in when, when they're in that state. So when we mirror that same energy, we're actually going to get more of that energy. So you actually want to think, okay, you're all the way up here, right? And I want to start bringing you down here. So what are the ways that, that I can create that? So we actually want to create a new roadmap in your brain. And one way that you can start bringing that energy down is, again, focusing on you. So what can I do to bring that energy down within myself? So that could be as simple as just breathing through your belly. A lot of times when we're stressed out, we do this... I'm exaggerating, but really, guys, pay attention. When you're stressed, are you breathing through your chest? There's nothing wrong with you if you are. And there's nothing wrong with you if you've yelled at your puppy. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying get the awareness on how that affects your puppy. And is that actually reaching the energy that you want to create or the goal that you want to create? So you want to do like slow belly breathing. So everybody right now, put your hands on your lower abdomen. And I want you to breathe in and then breathe out. And I want you to slow down your breathing. So we're gonna breathe in to the count of 10. And breathe out to the count of 12. Into the count of 10. Out to the count of 12. So hopefully if you guys um, participate in that, you can already see that your energy is shifted. Mine has definitely gotten a lot calmer. Now, I've had times where my dog was going up the wazoo and I actually did nothing except slowed down my breath and then my dog sat down and joined me. Now, I want you to understand that you might not have a, a shift that happens within a few seconds or even a few minutes, but eventually when you change the energy around you and within yourself, because, well, first it starts within you, and then it starts shifting the energy and the molecules around you. Then it reaches your dog, and then that energy starts, starts changing for them as well. Another thing you can do is turn on more relaxing music. So, like, classical music um, is really good. There's actually a lot of science behind relaxing classical music can decrease the dog's heart rate as well as yours. Um, I love Through the Dog's Ear. That's a great place you can go. You can download a lot of free things on um, 
relaxing classical. Joshua Leeds is great. He um, did, oh, you know what? It's called I Calm Now. It was Through the Dog's Ear, but if you actually go on YouTube and go to Through the Dog's Ear or hit I Calm um, or type in Joshua Leeds, you're going to get a whole bunch of resources on that relaxing music that, that you can listen to. Um, you also want to think about like um, how you're touching your dog as well. So again, if they're more hyper and, and you're doing this, you're going to amp them up. If you're moving your hands around their face, you're amping it up. So if you want the energy to be calmer, then you're going to want to think slower petting. Again, you're following the energy that you want to create. It's really that simple. So if you can just tap into the energy that you want your dog to be in and ask yourself, how would I respond in that state? Then you will start shifting your puppy's energy. Um, Because they're very empathetic. They're going to pick up on how you're feeling. See how I'm doing nice and slow? And another cool thing that you can do is T-Touch. I love T-Touch. It's calmed down a lot of dogs. Um, puppies are really mouthy, so I would give them something to chew on while you're doing it, like a Kong or a bully stick or something that's food-oriented for them to chew on. And then once they're occupied with that, then you're going to ground your thumb. You're going to take these four fingers, and then you're going to do a full circle in three-fourths. And you're doing a really, really light pressure. You're going with the hair and you're not staying in the same location. And you can do that all over the body with, with how the hair, the hair is growing. And you want to think a really hard amount of pressure that I'm doing right now is a pressure three. A little bit less than that is a two. And then if you could barely feel it on your eyelids, that's a pressure one. You want to use like a pressure one, like something that's pretty, pretty, pretty light on that. Um, and then you also want to think like, how are you interacting with the people around you? So if you have um, other family members there or friends, if you're laughing and jolly, um, that's great. That's happy energy. But if it's really, really high, happy, laughing, running, that's going to create more of that. So you want to bring the energy down and have more um, conversations that are going to have that less laughter, but also have, you know, that calm, happy energy behind it. Guys, I really hope that helps you. Um, and it may be a little bit off the wall for some of you guys, because some of you guys just want, you know, this, this quick fix. And the reality of the matter is there isn't one. I'm sorry. <laughs> but if you learn how to shift your energy, it becomes really easy over time and will have long lasting results. And you'll be able to shift a lot um, with your dog fairly quickly. I would love to hear your comments below on what you think about this. And then I also want to tell you, I have two things that I want to tell you. Number one is I have a live puppy online Zoom course that I'm starting this Saturday. A sweet deal right now that I may never do again, $100 for the entire six weeks course. Or you can pay $25 per class. The link is in the comments below for you to click on and to learn um, more about that. But if you're interested, Sign up ASAP to get a spot or ask me questions below. I, I would love to hear what your questions are. We will be actively training your pups. You're going to be online with Zoom. You're going to have your cameras. It's just going to be like an in-person class, guys, except your puppies are no longer going to be distracted. So bam, 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 we're going to be able to get them to listen a lot quicker than you could um, in a group class setting. Then from there, if you want to work with distractions, then we can take you to the next level and do in-person outside classes. But we can't start um, with leash walking and calm where, you know, your puppy is really distracted outside when we haven't even done the foundation work first. Um, so if distraction work is uh, important to you and your dog can't listen without distractions, then you want to start in this class first so you can progress to that level. And then lastly, I'm Reiki certified. I just got my Reiki certification. Um, I will be progressing towards getting it for animals as well. Really great calming energy, super awesome. If you're interested in learning more about that and how I can help you um, with that, please message um, below as well. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.